Spring fever is in the air. Imagine what you can do if you knew the science behind the curveball. And that's why we have the chief scientist with the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, here to talk about baseball and the technique that maybe the scientist knows that the pitcher doesn't. Well, we'll talk a little bit about it. It's, okay. it's, it's a lot of nice physics behind the baseball. Sure. But one of the things we wanted to talk about was um, the force is acting on a ball once it leaves the pitcher's hand. Okay. We got gravity, we got some drag from air, and we've got this thing called the Magnus effect. All right. I don't know the magnitude. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to show you. <laughs> so, for instance, um, it comes into play when the ball is spinning as it moves through the air. Okay, now, neither of you or I are going to try to launch this ball at the camera, but all we can do is roll it down this ramp. We'll get it rotating, and then we're just going to see what happens to it as it leaves the end. Okay? okay. So I'll just step over here, and we're going to just let the ball. In fact, Tony, if you hold the, hold the ball. Just hold it? Yeah, I'm going to hold the ramp. Just yeah. let it go. Let yeah, it roll down the ramp. Nope. There it goes. Boom. All right, not surprising. Rolls down, hits the ground because gravity is accelerating it downward. Now, <clears throat> we didn't see any of that Magnus effect happening there because the oh. ball was spinning relatively slowly and moving relatively slowly. We can, though, if we take something really light like this uh, cylinder of paper, it's so light that the Magnus effect will actually be appreciable. So what I want you to do is hold that cylinder. Okay. And what you're going to do is I'm going to tilt this. You're just going to make sure I don't interfere with it in any way. Hang on. <laughs> OK, so just let that roll down the ramp. Let it, just let it go. Did you notice that it rolled backwards? I did. It came back. It didn't launch. It came back towards our toes. It almost right. fell straight down. So what's happening there, we can actually look at our, our whiteboard here. Okay, here's, okay. here's my baseball. <laughs> okay, and the air is rushing past the baseball. The baseball is spinning. Okay. okay? And so those uh, stitches on the baseball provide some turbulence around the ball. And so when this airflow comes over the top, it actually kind of gets dragged along the ball downward. Use the wrong color, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> so, and this other air gets dragged down because the ball sort of drags that air down and deflects it. Got it. Now, on the bottom, where the ball is rushing towards the air, this air sort of comes in and uh, it might get deflected a little bit, but mostly it travels straight past the ball. Okay? Right. So the net effect here is that the air passing over the ball gets deflected downward. Newton's third law of motion, do you remember? Uh, object in motion tends to stay in motion? No, that's, that's second. Okay. That. Every action <laughs> equal and opposite reaction. Right, okay. okay, so if the ball deflects the air downward, the air must then deflect the ball upward. Okay. Now, when we rolled this paper here, we had the situation reversed, so it actually rolled down. But we can demonstrate it with these cups over here. So is this like drag on it in a sense? Uh, well, there is Am a little bit. too aerodynamic? Yeah, let's, yeah. Do, let's, let's just do this and we'll see what okay. happens, okay? <laughs> so pick up a rubber band. All right. Pick up one of the cups. Drag's involved, certainly. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the rubber band around like two times. And you're going to have it like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to launch this towards the camera. And we're going to get spinning. We'll see what happens. So you're underneath. Should I'm underneath. underneath. Yeah, okay. you should be underneath. I Otherwise, don't, I don't know what that's I'm doing. Okay. Why don't you do yours? I'll do mine. Here we go. We're going to launch it towards the camera. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right. I don't know if you noticed that. Ooh. OK, I don't know either. One more time. You've got okay. to get the technique here. What we're looking for is the trajectory of the cups. And uh, because of the way we're spinning the cups, they should not go down. Launch yours. <laughs> like yours did, but they should go upward. Did well, you I notice? It on the top and so yeah, yeah, yeah. underneath, maybe? Yeah, so you got to get the right really spin. Sure. Okay. So once again, so do, do it this way. Watch what I'm is doing here. Is this like English yep. in bowling? It is the reason golf balls have dimples. Okay. It's the reason that soccer balls can curve. In fact, I could do this sideways. Let's see if we can get the, the cups to curve sideways. Here we go. Three, two, one. Curve to the left. Oh, oh perfect. Up, nice. Yeah. Yours yeah. went up. There you go. Okay, and it's all because of that interaction between the airflow around the circulating ball, the rotating ball. All right. Okay. So um, some people will call this, this, this would be a fastball, like a rising fast pitch. It's an optical illusion. This Magnus force actually counteracts maybe up to a quarter of the effects of gravity. So the ball, instead of approaching the batter and falling, will actually continue almost in an upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. Okay, curve ball will go sideways. Knuckleball, don't put any spin on it, or just like a little bit of spin, and the ball will kind of maybe oscillate around, causing unpredictable trajectories. Okay, and that happens when I pitch. So if you want to head on down here to the Imagination Station, try out any of Newton's laws and see what happens with the Solo Cup, you can do so today because kids 12 and under get in free with a paid adult admission if that kid and that adult live in Lucas County. You know, whether it's a curveball, Carl's going to serve it up, or a knuckleball from a knucklehead, that's how you imagine it. <laughs>